guys, I need so much, so much work. I need help. Send help now. Good morning, everybody, from me and the new flat and the new camera and the new microphone. Let's see if it works. Wait, I need to, like, you know, watch this clip to see if it works connected actually I apparently I'm supposed to connect it with some kind of wire like uh, wait, let's investigate but the most important thing in this vlog is that I have da, 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 da. hello fans how much do you like my new flat it's amazing please if if she sells it then you must buy this no, that, no I'm not selling the flat no, maybe she won't sell it who knows <laughs> I don't think Anyway, um, I don't know what's with this kid. Today we are super happy because I have special guests in Milan. My mom, my sister and my Me. best friend. And we are unpacking. Well, besides that, I'm gonna plug in now this microphone and test if it works. Unboxing everything. I don't know if this microphone works. Shall we check, Stepo? Yeah. Yeah, are you here? Shall we check if it works? Yeah. The view is that it's plugged in and that hopefully people will like the way it's filming and it's recording. But as we are unboxing, it's a lot to unbox. Some of my things have arrived from Paris, which makes me very, very, very happy. But besides that, uh, my mom and my sister are unboxing kitchen stuff because that's so boring for me, you know? It's all all coming together. Very colorful. I never even managed to show you these cups. I've received them from Agnes Studios. This is a big bowl. Stefan is asking Steiovo, which means what is this? And what else we have? I love these. These are gonna be my new favorite coffee cups. Try and break one, because it's not enough that we have few that I have arrived. No, no, I was kidding. Just being sarcastic. Yeah, when Italians eat pasta, it comes in this. And now it's time for the questions. Which questions would you like? Well, you How did you like Italian croissant this morning? Really good. From 1 to 10, what would you rate it? 10. Wow. Guys, before we continue with the wardrobe situation, which is like going to be quite extensive, I have about 1 million boxes to unpack. Well, that's exaggerated. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine boxes to unpack and i think i have more i have like some jeans sweaters and things like that but nine like hanging boxes yeah then i have shoes i have bags and all of the other stuff i applied some hair oil yesterday when i was coming home because i really wanted like a lot of moisture during these dusty times in my hair so please don't judge that it's the tlc it's a weekend like you know i slept uh <laughs> with the oil i woke up this morning i put a sweater on look at this i realized when i was in the taxi that i completely put it all the way around and i was like it's okay doesn't even matter but what i wanted to talk to you about so my mom's sister and stefan they came this morning and like to help out because i will need a lot of help especially in certain <laughs> parts of them yes i love you Love you more. But um, I decided to tell you something very, very exciting before we start working on all of this. Harrods and Harrods.com have got their special rewards weekend from 4th to 8th of May. And now is the time to get 10% off certain brands and some of my favorite brands, such as like, I don't know, like Manolo Blahnik, Zimmerman, um, Loewe, Alessandro Rich. Like there's so much advantage that you can take during this weekend. And I will link below some of the incredible items that I think you should definitely check out because I did. And I <laughs> decided to make the most out of my sister coming in from the UK to bring me something in person but you can obviously order online and I will link what I got right away but let me show you because I don't know like is it the Carrie Bradshaw syndrome a little bit you know when she gets a new wardrobe and she puts a new pair of Manolo Blahnik shoes in her wardrobe maybe I want to do the same thing but on harrods.com I decided to take advantage of the discount and I got myself a pair that I haven't seen yet so this is going to be a premiere and they come in like two different colors as they usually do Manolo right so oh, I couldn't really decide and I felt like I wanted a few pairs but keep in mind that in like a little bit more than two weeks time I will be going to Cannes for the film festival and I will definitely need some red carpet shoes I have like a lot of events parties etc to attend and I thought these would be perfect because they're actually nude but they're clear so they will if I pack them in my suitcase 
these will be perfect and obviously they look like you have nothing on your foot just this sparkly i don't know let's see if you'll focus still have to figure out the new camera situation is this in focus it has the sparkly bit here and then this shoe is absolutely stunning i will obviously show them to you as well what they look like on oh so beautiful i would think actually i think they look way more beautiful in real life than they looked online i got a size 40 and a half just because i was a little bit worried of this i'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like on i was worried not about the shoe itself but i wanted to have like more space especially when it gets hot because this is a sandal i'm gonna wear it when it is hot and um i think because also we are oh they're so they're so much better than i even thought they would be that's always like my favorite thing you know like when you order something and you're like i don't know if i'm gonna like this i love this and i will show you now and they're so comfortable so i don't normally buy these kind of shoes which are made of plexi like the kind of clear thing but this is not sharp it's very soft but sturdy it's a bit thicker than usually so it's a bit softer i don't know if that makes sense but they're absolutely stunning i'm very very happy with them i'm obsessed and i think i'm gonna wear them in Cannes for the film festival besides that i think that they are perfect for like weddings i don't know if you have any weddings this summer apparently i heard it's gonna be a very very wedding rich summer because so many people that had to cancel their weddings due to you know <laughs> last two years situation they now are rescheduling and um yeah like for any events parties summer situations i think they would be beautiful because just just because they go with black with white with nude with any possible print with any possible color literally they go with everything because they're clear with nude so basically they're perfection i also wanted to say that i personally think that harrods is such an incredible shopping destination for all the things luxury like besides besides obviously loving to go there for like a coffee and like a macaroon and to browse and you know like they have all of these beautiful things but they have an incredible selection of ready-to-wear accessories jewelry i mean now that i'm into home i definitely would love to just pop in harrods and like stroll through the home selection Ugh. But yeah, definitely make the most of the 10% off this rewards weekend. I strongly suggest it and I will link like five or six pieces that I think you should check out in case we have similar taste because those are the things that I had my eye on. I have a question to ask you for your opinion. What do you think about my new pairs of shoes? New pair of shoes? Well, they look so shiny and here's a fact about them. If you put them straight out of the sun, Mm -hmm. Look at the wall. It will be a very shiny, wall. very shiny, right? I anyway, love them so much. It's time to move on to the questions. Well, the first question is: Please, do you remember when I took you together with your mommy to Harrods? I really, really loved it. Yeah. Yes. Well, I wish this weekend I could take you because there's ten percent off and there's a wide array of things but the next time i'm in london i will definitely take you and we're gonna have some cookies again some great cakes and hot yeah, chocolate maybe we should vlog that yeah yeah i think that sounds like a plan give me a fist bump thank you guys it's probably like uh, three hours later from when i have actually shown you the progress and the current situation is i'm trying to empty the wardrobe of the things that i don't really need like not that i don't need them i'm gonna get rid of them etc but things that I most likely will end up either sending back to the UK, selling on my Depop account, which I will link below so you guys can check it out, or even like donating, like there's all sorts of like different piles. I wanna show like everything, but kind of just doing what I can. And yeah, like a lot of organization. And honestly, like having my mom and my sister here is just the best thing in the world because they are like i can focus on the wardrobe while they're focusing on other aspects of the house what's really nice about uh, my wardrobe is that i actually have a lot of drawer space also like over there the thing is i do not actually have the drawer organizers and i tried to order them but they were out of stock or unavailable something one of the, one of the two i'm not really quite sure so yeah that's what we really really need before i can like organize all the belts and things like that like and these are all the belts from paris so i didn't even have these for quite a while i really wanted to have this little chanel remember this chanel kind of belt bag for Coachella, but obviously it was in the boxes and like things like this 
Uh, but first things first, I really need a good organizer for drawers here. If you know anyone who makes like custom made drawer organizers or something like that, where I can order it, please let me know. So I'll look into it. I'm definitely interested. Yeah, I need quite a few actually. I need like an organizer here. I need like a drawer organizer there. Something, I don't know, maybe here not, but it's like a clear, it's a clear drawer. And then, you know, I have a lot of these trays. Okay guys, I st it started getting dusty, so I had to open the window and I hope you can hear me, you will see. Um, now, current situation is, yeah, not great. Basically, it got to a point where I'm like, okay, I still have to fill out all those bits and I kind of need to organize things quite properly. I don't really even know what to do, how to do it, and it's a lot of stuff to arrange. So let's get going. Guys, my boyfriend came home and now like even all the things that I didn't want to sell, he's like, this you never wore, this you wore once, this you're never gonna wear again, this you wore too many times. He's a good bike. No, he's not a good bike. He really? wanted, yeah. As long as you yes, don't sell these ones. I found a box in your trainer. Let me show it. Oh no. I don't know oh, where no. I'm gonna put it. This I'm not selling, it's a Saint Laurent. No, you don't. Also Very because... Special because you wanna wear it. Yes. No, it's mine. Yes. It's mine. It's mine and it's very small. It's like 36. It's not very small. I can easily wear it. Oh wow. I wish I had that at Coachella. Right. Mm. That's this. beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it? Yeah. Guys, I don't know. Guys, I'm in so much, so much work. I need help. Send help now. We came to the point of the day where. I'm tired and we keep opening boxes and my sister just asked me, I have a question, does Filippo have any clothes in this house or is it just you? And also how did this happen in, in like two years? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit intense. But one thing I can say is that, yeah, no, I just, Vanny Bidi, that's what? It. That's it? Just Vanny Bidi. <laughs> By the end of this video, hopefully Bidi. Hopefully we'll see by the end of the video, but yes, it's very intense at the moment. It's like 5 p.m. And I also have to like upload because today is Sunday, so I have to like go live with the video. I have to post some Instagrams like for my content, etc. And I just feel like, how can I move and do all of that? I hate interrupting work. Also, I'm watching outside of the window and I can see like pollen flying, you know, and I'm so allergic to pollen. So I better start the antihistamine season. Oh, Dios mío. Guys, I'm so tired right now. What time is it? Can anybody help me with the time? 10 ish. 10 ish. And I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted that I can't even say what time it is. How much did we walk? Lots. Five hours. Five hours. Okay. So we took my mom, my sister, Stefan for pizza. Then we had a nice walk. Piazza Duomo, I didn't bring the camera because I really wanted to enjoy this family time, which for me is not every day, as you will understand. Still enjoying my makeup less day. And tomorrow I'm coming back in the morning. So I'll leave you here and tomorrow continuiamo. Wow. Huh? Which means continue. È una parola difficile. Molto difficile. Which means continue. Do Domani much. continuiamo. Wow. I, can, I cannot even say that. Really, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, impressive. Yeah. Good afternoon guys, so great that there's so much noise in the background, but let's hope that actually I will be in the main focus of the microphone. It's a beautiful day in Milan, it's really warm, it's 2nd of May, it's my mom's birthday and I feel like I'm more like I'm so scattered all over the place because I really wanted my mom to have a nice day. So this morning I woke up early last night. Filippo and I we took Stefan to go sleep in the old house uh, with us just because Stefan really wanted to spend more time with me because we we're best friends and because also like I want my mom and my sister to sleep here and have like you know like a nice rest. So this morning we brought some flowers, we came, we started unpacking. I had like so many things, like we had a cleaner who came to help, we had an architect, we had my assistant today come in, like yeah, 
a lot of stuff then we went for a birthday lunch for my mom which was beautiful then i took stefan to lego store so it was like a very family day and i didn't really want to bring a camera around i hope you understand on top of that i want to tell you one more thing i mean i realized yesterday when i was loading on the computer the content from the whole day yesterday that i look atrocious and to tell you the honest truth i do not feel like doing my makeup i do not feel like doing my hair i mean i have a hair appointment tomorrow like i'm not gonna i don't have like three hours in the day to properly do my hair by myself so i'm gonna go for a hair appointment and like i'm gonna dedicate time for like beauty tomorrow because day after tomorrow i'm traveling to switzerland for work so tomorrow is gonna be like kind of packing sorting out stuff and sorting out one nail that i broke while i was trying to open a box don't do that learn from me don't open boxes with your nails so tomorrow i'm gonna <laughs> get back to my old self but i realized that i really don't look my best and the reason is honest truth i don't feel like putting on makeup just because i'm vlogging like i'm i'm doing homework like i'm basically cleaning and unpacking and organizing and dusting and all of that stuff trying to connect wi-fi and trying to like do a little bit of work i don't want to just do makeup and present you this like unrealistic perfect picture of me unpacking boxes with full hair and makeup because that never really happens i'm in my sweatpants i am i look like this okay this is the real truth so that's that i just made myself coffee because i'm at that like afternoon slump yeah see what i mean by this hair not cute i know you see this is my outfit track pants and a simple tee well long sleeve the mirror is dirty because there's like so much dust everywhere around I'm still organizing the wardrobe. Once I'm done organizing the wardrobe, it's going to be organizing the bathroom. I mean, do I even have to elaborate? There's so much stuff everywhere, literally. But in a way, it's all good. It's all exciting. It's exciting to do these kind of things, to work on like settling into your new nest. I just wish I had proper time to do all of that because I don't simple as that i think if i'm not mistaken that i have actually given you a brief debrief of my schedule which is like horrendous i just spoken to my team and i've told them like guys this schedule is worse than december so i'm traveling to switzerland with Adamar Piguet from 4th to 6th of june then i'm going on a trip uh, with Chiara Ferragni from 8th to 10th of May. Then I'm coming back to go for Louis Vuitton cruise show. Then I have more unconfirmed trips. Then I'm going to Mykonos. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to Mykonos. I don't know if I want to reveal the brand just yet. I'll leave it to you. After Mykonos, I have like Cannes. I have another trip to Capri. Basically, it's a very, very intense month. And... I have to unpack, pack, organize home, install internet. I'm just very happy because we managed to kind of do like great security. We managed to hire someone for that as well, like full time. We managed to hire someone who's going to be helping us also at home. Like we managed to do a lot of things and that kind of makes me happy. I'm going to be traveling. My boyfriend's going to be here. I'm not going to be seeing him at all, basically, um, but it's all good. And now I just have to sort out a lot of things around here. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. I'm getting ready for the trip. I'm fixing my broken nail that I broke with a box. So, you know, I'm just doing the best I possibly can while still being a human. Good morning, guys. We woke up at 7.30. Very tired. <laughs> but it's all so worth it because this home is getting almost empty. I woke up with barely any voice. That's because of dust. Like, I think I told you I'm severely allergic to dust. And honestly, it affects me so much that I'm basically... At a point that while we're packing these things and moving boxes etc like especially boxes from storage and so on i'm almost like coughing up dust balls which is not very interesting i'm sure for anybody but i wanted to show you like where we are the phase of moving just picked up the last bit of the dry cleaning and these bits we need to bring back home i'm so happy because that's the last of my clothes that i have in this apartment everything else is basically in the new flat i find these ikea bags the best for packing that's basically it i just realized i left one bag there which is a bottega bag the wardrobes are empty it's pretty crazy but that's it guys 
look all the work this was all like full 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 to the top and there's one more as well there so i'm very proud of us i literally came here because i wanted to show you to vlog myself but there's no more mirror here because obviously it's a new flat so yep i love that in this apartment we have like a massive massive garden a garden a balcony but we have a nice balcony also in the other one it's just a different style but we never actually got to do a barbecue here which is what we kind of wanted to do like here in the summer but it didn't last that long one of our last rounds and we're just gonna load it up in the lift and we are leaving actually i'm gonna come back today anyway i have a I have my accent coaching, so I want to do it here because here is peaceful and um, then I'm just going to take the last bits. Okay guys, this is probably the first time you can see me with a, like normal hair. Let me just put the camera somewhere. Hold on. Okay, hope you can see me properly. Probably the first time that you can see me with like normal hair during this video. But in the past three days that I've been at home, I did not wear makeup once or normal clothes because I've been mainly wearing, actually I really love them. Can't see them now, but I will show you in a second. Um, I've been wearing these Coral David Coleman collaboration kind of like sweatpants and i love them i've been going everywhere in them i've been wearing them with my off-white nike dunks the yellow lemonade ones and i just love the collaboration like i love the, the collaboration i love the combination i think it's so beautiful on top of everything i have to actually finish somewhat what i'm doing pack up i mean honestly like i cannot even tell you there's so much mess everywhere i don't know if you can tell but the floor is like there's still boxes everywhere and um we still have like more wardrobes to make because i ran out of space and i need more space and i have to unpack my suitcase from capri which is like over there it's better that you cannot fully see it in focus and i have to pack a suitcase for tomorrow for switzerland so let's try and do something somehow okay also one other thing is that you can see everywhere well first of all i'm crooked Ugh. Is that fine? No, it isn't. Anyway, there's like piles of clothes everywhere. There's like a washing pile, a gifting pile, a selling pile, like sewing something, like fixing pile, washing pile, dry cleaning pile. So that's, I don't know, like how people do this, honestly. And then on top of that, how do they keep up with their routines? Like workout routine, how do you keep up with a workout routine? Or like frequent beauty treatments or something like that. Because honestly, like the last time I've had a facial was I don't remember when. And it doesn't really matter, but it's more like I wanna do something nice for myself just so that I can feel nice, you know? That's okay, anyway. This is what the David Coma, by the way, Coral sweatpants look like. Love them. That is basically it. Now we're gonna pack. Then I have to go and fix my nail and then I'm gonna sleep one last time in the old apartment. Like honestly, I'm quite excited for that. I'm gonna say bye to it tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say thank you so much for following along this vlog. I actually managed to fix everything. I had my hair done today. I even had my voice lesson, well, voice lesson, vocal coach, whatever you call it, which I really am enjoying so much. And I am now spending the last night at this flat. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see me. I don't know how the life's gonna, life's gonna be, not life. Life is complicated as it is. It was a quite intense, intense few days. What do you want? Nothing. Don't, don't tell them my secrets. Shh. <laughs> don't tell them. Don't tell anyone what I'm doing. Shh. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, yeah. how do you feel about the last night in this flat? Oh, is it not the last night for you? No. Tomorrow is my last night. So tonight is my last night in this flat, and I have to say that we had some really beautiful moments here. Especially what makes me remember it the most are constant packing and unpacking. Baby, don't push. You don't have voice. You can do this video like that. 
Yeah, Baby, I know I can do this part. Yeah, I love the way, voice. By the way, your voice is very sexy. Mm, thank you, baby. You might keep it then. Um, we are actually, like, I'm exhausted, first of all. I lost my voice. I feel like so dusty and all, yeah, because it's just been intense. I've, this has been like one of the rare vlogs with fully no makeup whatsoever, just because honestly, it's unmanageable. Moving is a lot. Wow. Um, like I said, you know, like I have my mom helping and it was really like amazing help, but it's a lot and it's a process. And I wanted in this video actually to show you a little bit of my wardrobe, but will I ever do a proper wardrobe tour? Probably not, especially not to the parts which, like, or the part where my bags are stored, even though I do not really anymore have like all of my bags in one place anymore it's just like i have so many policies in place like you know besides the like security protection like cameras alarms and all of that besides that i also decided to insert like other kind of measurements in place because it's necessary and then i was wondering like okay in my vlogs whatever i do in the future you will see my wardrobe like bits by bits right and that's okay i think that's normal part of vlogging i'm gonna be like all about that but i'm gonna try and like never give like way too much it's part of my job it's impossible not to show and i'm not like really scared to be honest i just wanted to be more you know like spontaneous about these things but still safe so that was it this vlog i will talk more but i can't because yeah of obvious reasons thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed a little bit of this like wardrobe organization slash mass i think that like I'm going back to, I'm going back to, I'm flying to Switzerland tomorrow morning, I have to leave at 4am, like how many 4ams did we have this week? Too many. And um, once I'm back, I think the apartment's already gonna like start shaping up, but that's it. Goodbye this apartment, hello new one, from the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.